Hey there everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within. I'm like, pretty sure it's final boss time now. After all of that, it has to be. Been up and down a lot of these things, haven't you? Well, I do believe we have arrived at the core of this thing. Sucks that we couldn't upgrade ourselves one last time, but it ah well. Be. I'm sure we'll make it. Wait, that's us. Help! Help! Sebastian, get away from him. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... <sighs> Doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Rubik. He's the one that... Um, are we falling? I think we're falling.
So then, Ruvik, you show your true form. Just as ugly and hideous as I expected. Okay, wow. I forget if I said it before, but I did see the final boss of this game years ago, but I don't remember like much anything about it. I don't I don't think I even watched the full fight. So I'm I'm like pretty much completely blind on how this plays. Except for one particular thing that I may or may not be right about. I won't spoil it in case I am right about it. Like there's literally only like one thing that I remembered from the video I saw. But yeah, this thing's even more ugly and hideous than I remember it looking. Okay, run left. Wait, how do you avoid that one? Also, why am I, like, exploding into, like, purple and blue goop? Okay, you just have to, you have to run away from it early. Oh, can we use that against it? All right, now we got some firepower. Wow, you know what this reminds me of now? This reminds me of that one boss from Resident Evil Revelations. Just because of the, uh, the tentacle thingies. You know, I should probably be shooting it in the brain. That's obviously the weak point. At first I thought it was the claws, but then I realized it's only telling me to shoot those because I'll probably die if I don't. Oh, I like my truck. Oh, we, oh, we died. Wait, did we die? No, we're not dead. This is, this is a thing that's supposed to happen, apparently. Oh yes, this is what I remembered. This is the only thing that I remembered. Well, other than like vaguely the area that this takes place in. Yes, using a rocket launcher against this thing. Maybe I should shoot it in its stomach. Looks like it might be a weak point. Except I don't think I can actually hit it. Maybe I should just shoot it in the face. Did I shatter its brain casing? I think I did. Okay, so you have to kill it before it gets to you. 
You know how the end of like almost every Resident Evil game, you know, you have to use a rocket launcher to finish off the final boss? Well, it's like in this case, you pretty much fight the final boss with a rocket launcher. Like, it's not just to finish it off, it's like, this is the fight. <laughs> wait, maybe I should wait? Yeah, we'll wait until I can shoot it in the skull. This thing is hard to hit. Well, not if you, not, not if you let it get stunned for a bit, I guess. Do I just have to hit it in the brain once? Oh, I shattered its brain casing. Like, wow, okay. Okay, wait for it. Okay, it, it it takes more than one direct hit to the brain, that's for sure. Okay, is this the finisher? Yes! Oh, apparently not. Wait, 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 did I win? created this world. You cannot keep me here. Rubik. Ah. Oh, we actually have to play this part. Yeah, there was one other thing that I remembered. Well, not about the final battle, but about the ending itself. It was this, you know. I won't say anything about it. I'm going to finish this. Well, it's obvious what we're going to do, so let's do it. Yep. Okay, so before we do anything else, I I'm just gonna like quickly theorize like what I think is going on. Like I kind of remembered this little bit from the ending a long time ago and I, I was thinking I would understand what was going on when I got to this point in the game, but I'm still not entirely sure. But my theory is we've been like an experiment this whole time. Like, like I think right now we're in our real body. Like I think we're in the real world right now. And, like, we've been hooked up to this machine, so, yeah, it's like this machine right here, this abomination, is what, um, yeah. Like, that's what kept us trapped in that world the whole time, and I think now we've woken up in the real world, and yeah, we've been inside that brain. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that's Ruvik's brain. That has to be Ruvik's brain. 
So, only one thing left to do. Squish. Let's end this. Vital sign, sir. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one can. Go, go! Uh, Detective, are you all right? Is there anyone else? Just give me some real fresh air. Wow. And so that's it. You know... <sighs> hmm. Okay, so I guess when we squished the brain, we were still in the, uh, still in the, um, brain world. I, I think that's what was going on. When we squished that, then we actually woke up in the real world. That room in the real world. I, I guess the one in the brain world is, yeah. Like, it was like a replica of the real world one.
Hmm. So then, final thoughts on The Evil Within? Well, you know, I think it's actually a pretty good game. I mean, it's got its flaws, it's got its problems, but despite that, like, I was able to get a good amount of enjoyment out of it. Like, it's actually a really solid game. Like, you know, it's it's by no means amazing or anything. Like, I would probably give it like a 7 out of 10, maybe a 6 out of 10. It's maybe halfway in between that. You know, it's it's somewhere in that range. Like, it's got its good qualities. I got some enjoyment out of it, but, you know, it is heavily flawed in several ways. But, you know, I don't think it was a bad game, though. I know most people seem to think that the first Evil Within is, like, terrible, it seems like, but I don't think it's a terrible game. Like, I think it's a... I think it's an okay game with some big problems. Like, I think the biggest problem with the game is, like, it tries too hard to be Resident Evil 4. And just, I, you know... It's weird, like, this whole time I've been saying the game is flawed, but it's difficult for me to, like, pinpoint exactly what I think is flawed about it. I think it's just... It's just the fact that it tries so hard to be, like, Resident Evil 4, but Resident Evil 4 is, like, superior to it in almost every way, so... It just makes the game... It, it, I don't know, it just... It makes the game feel like it just falls short because of that. Like, it's Resident Evil 4, just not as good. But yeah, not a bad game. I am looking forward to starting The Evil Within 2 now, though, because... I mean, even people who hate the first game, apparently, like, most of them really enjoy the second game, so... I imagine I'm probably gonna really enjoy the second game. And yeah, I'm going to be uh, finding those, um, uh, the rest of those uh, map pieces, because I really want to know what those unlock. Don't give up Using every last the long yeah, I think the story of the game was pretty good, even though I still don't, like, not sure what was going on. Like, who exactly was Leslie? Like, they... Unless it was explained in a note that I missed, or, you know, it was hinted at and I just didn't pick up on it. Like, who exactly was Leslie? Like, how is he connected to Ruvik? Like, why was he, like, the key to all of this? I don't think the game really explained that. Although, it did show that... Um... Like, it showed that, uh, it showed that tub that had Leslie's name on it. Was that the tub that Sebastian got out of? Because I noticed that, and I was thinking, like, you know, like, it was empty, so is that the one he got out of? Or does that mean that Leslie is still alive in the real world, and he escaped somehow? Like, does this mean that, like, maybe Leslie is, like... A persona of Sebastian that like lived in that world. I, I, I don't know. I'm so lost on the story right now. I don't know. Maybe the Evil Within Two explains some of that. I don't know. Also, oh, this game ended up being way longer than I thought it would be. Like, I was kind of expecting this to be, like, an 8 to 10 hour long game, but... I mean, we're, we almost approached 20 hours on this thing. Now, speaking of Resident Evil 4, I think it's about as long as Resident Evil 4. Maybe longer, even. hard to like 
I don't know, it's hard to judge that, though. Hey, machine gun acquired. And rocket launcher acquired. Ooh, 50,000 skill points. So it's not called green gel or brain juice. It's called skill points, apparently. And if this was a Resident Evil game, I would probably be getting grade D, probably. Alright, so we are now on New Game Plus. So before we end this off, let's see how this works exactly. Actually, let's go to the model viewer first. Let's check out what this is. Oh. And this reminds me of the bottle cap things from Resident Evil 4. So this is how you find out all the names of the enemies. Fitting name for that thing. That's another thing I want to try to sentinel. I wonder if you can actually kill that thing. AKA the grudge. Quell. What the heck is that? I don't remember fighting that. Oh, so the final boss is called the Amalgam. I guess the Amalgam Alpha is like the prototype form of it or something. Amalgam Core. Oh, I guess that means Ruvik. Hmm. So the main enemies of the game are called the Haunted. Oh, you can view info on them. Actually, wait, I'm curious about a couple of them. Wait. Oh, so that's why Ruvik needed Leslie. Okay. Makes sense.
Oh, that's the water monsters. Okay. Yeah, Stim is what that's called. Stim is the name of the world inside the mind machine thing. Or rather, it's what generates the world, I think. I think it's the name of that machine. Wait, so every single one of those was an individual person, like, connected to the stem? Not all of them, okay. Hmm. All right, then. Okay, well, let's check out what New Game Plus is like. Wait. Play any chapter that you have saved upon completion. I guess if we start this, it'll take us to a chapter select. Okay, here we go. Oh, it doesn't give us a list of, um... Like, it doesn't uh, tell us how many, uh... Uh, map pieces we collected? Bummer. Hmm. Well, I might as well load one of them. Or just select it at least. No, it it doesn't it doesn't list anything. Well, I guess I'll just use a guide or something to find those. But anyway, yeah, that's it for the Evil Within. Well, barring bonus content, as we find the rest of those map pieces and do some other things like. I want to try to kill the uh, Sentinel, and, like, I think you can, like, defeat Lara, like, with the fam- I almost said fames. With the flames. You know, I don't know, there's an achievement for doing it. That's how I know you can do that. So, I think you can, like, defeat her with the flame uh, pipes and stuff in the final confrontation with her, so... Yeah, like, there's a few things like that that I want to try to do in the game, so that'll be bonus content. But anyway, anyway, that's it for Let's Play The Evil Within. Hope y'all enjoyed. In the end, I think it's a pretty decent game, and I'm looking forward to starting the second one. See you, everyone.